Ori. Hey, where's Stewie? That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. Okay, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not right on the teleprompter. There it is. We are going to do Sting, yeah. There's no words there to play us out. What does that mean, to play us out? To end the show? Yeah, yeah. All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today, and we'll leave you with a... I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Fucking thing sucks! In five, four, three... That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Stewie Griffin. Thanks for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. Howdy ho! Hello, welcome to Super Dan Dealing in the Desert uh, Does Backgammon, episode 11. How are y'all? Uh, this is actually not live. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to cut out the uh, Bill O'Reilly Bill, Bill jokes on We'll Do It Live. But you know what? I think it's kind of funny, so I'm going to keep it in there. Because <coughs> I think it's funny, but I won't do it on the next, next week if we're still pre-recorded. Yes, this is pre-recorded, not live. I apologize ahead of time, but I'm starving. I got to eat. I've been busy running around all day today. To, uh, today's Friday. It is uh, Super Dance Day Off, but it's not really a day off. I still got to take care of all sorts of stuff. The familiar and what have you. It's May 12th, 2023. We are playing Backgammon on BackgammonGalaxy.com. These are five-point matches. Uh, normal clock settings, which means it's uh, one minute per point with a 12 second countdown. As you can see, we got 94 players. Uh, we're playing for two tournament coins, otherwise known as Yiros. Not Giros, Yiros. And it looks like it's paying 16 spots. There's a breakdown right there. First place gets 0.4. Uh, euros and 16th place gets 0 0.05 euros obviously you're not going to get rich but it's just a little taste for fun and uh, we are waiting for our opponent here which is all life is problems Olven hmm. he's from Antarctica I don't play too many people from Antarctica to be honest with you so that's pretty cool He's rated a master like Super Dan, 573 wins, 530 losses, not a lot of experience, but he's got a very good rating. Probably a pretty good player. Here's, of course, the Super Dan, eh? 2264 master, uh, 3264 wins. I don't know how many losses, but it's in the twos. Let me see. 2890. So 3264 wins, 2890 losses. Experienced 27,138. And uh, from the United States, of course. America, land of the home, the free, the brave. Uh, the uh, country that likes to defend foreign countries, borders, but not its own. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I apologize by eating, but... I'm starving. This guy's not showing up, is he? That's why I'm glad this is not live. This is pre-recorded, -record and I could come back and through the magic of editing, come back to the next match. You wouldn't even know. So I am going to leave you right now, uh, all you great folks out there in uh, Watchland, and I will come back for the next match. This is. Super Danny, Dealing in the Deserte, Episode 11. I'll be back. Hello, everybody. Super Dan is back with the magic of editing, and we are back for the next match. My opponent obviously did not show up, so it was an easy round for us. Uh, his air rating 32-35. That's what happens when you don't show up. Now we are playing Luki Juke. We're playing Luki Juke from Finland. Okay, so now we're playing someone from Finland. I'm part Finnish. So it is a uh, Kinman. And uh, we're going to start with the 3-4 split here. We split the 24 to the 20. 
and the 13 to the uh, 9, uh, which has gained more in favorability than splitting to the uh, 20 and coming down to the 10. Which actually would have played out better with the 5-1 because I could have covered the the five point. Now I can't do that, so I'm going to run out here and put them up. Run out there and put them up. So how are you all doing today? Uh, it's uh, getting warm here in Las Vegas. I'm telling you, we're getting into the 90s. Uh, what do I want to do here? Do that. And uh, summer's peeking over the shoulder does get up to 115 degrees Fahrenheit here folks believe it or not yeah it gets hot it gets hot 3-1 that is a definite hit and we will hit and I think he should hit back here and he does okay so he hits back but we're able to safety the checkers here uh, on the 16 point which is good so far so good double fives is terrific this game this game should be in the bag and go on to the next He should not take this double. I hope he does. Please take. Does not take. Okay, so. On to the next game. Now, remember, you got to get the five to win. It's, it's first one to five. We are one zero, which is four away, five away. You can think of it that way, too. Whatever. And... On to the next one. He's definitely... Look at this. Wow. He definitely has the upper hand right now. We're able to hit. That might stave off the cube for a roll. Okay. So that's good. Stave off the cube. Now what do we do? Um, do we make the five or safety? I think we... I think we make the five point. Was that correct? I don't know, but we got to start with something. That was a great roll. So now we have an anchor. That really saved us on the 21 point, our 21 point. So that was good. Anchor is good. It pre it prevents uh, most primes or walls and prevents gammas. So. Trying to get this barber pole cigar toasty. H up in barber pole. Uh, that's the three, and I think I'm going to attack with the four. Uh, better to, there's a saying in backgammon, better to kill than to be assassinated, right? Uh, four one, we'll do that. And we'll cover the all-important one point. I say it in jest. <laughs> Actually, you don't want to be covering the one point because it puts checkers out of play. But sometimes you gotta, you got to do what you got to do, man. You got to do what you got to do. Um, I need a drink. I had that pizza. Now I need a drink. But we'll just play this out, and then I'll get a drink. We'll play the, the match. All right, so he's doubling here. I'm way down in a race. Um, I, my timing's not super. I got checkers. Eh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Even though, you know, he's still got, he still has to work on getting around safely. Um, I don't like my timing, so I'm going to pass. All right, so we're 1-1, one, one, and you may wonder what I'm smoking. Let me see if I got the paper here. This cigar is from uh, Black Lion Cigars. Or they call them BL Luxuries. <laughs> they had to, I forgot they had to change their logo so from because of a lawsuit. So it's BL Luxuries Cigars. 
you can see that right here. Here's the proof. All right. There you go. And we are smoking here the H. Upman 1844 Special Edition Barber Toro 6x54. The retail is $9.62. The wrapper is a Connecticut shade Sumatra. The binder is Indonesia. And the filler is Dominican Republic and Nicaragua and USA. And it notes uh, medium strength and body. And I agree with all that so far. We're in a great position here. Maybe a gamish position. We're going to... I think we're going to double here because I think he's going to take because of this... Yep, because of the four prime. But, boy, he's taking a risk here. Because if we could gammon him, we're on to the next game. We are on to the next game. If we could gammon him... Oh, he got in. Darn it. All right, let's get the anchor here. Man, I was getting greedy there. I thought we were. I thought we had a a gammon on our hands. We still might. We still might have a gammon on our hands. This six four does not play well. I would probably. Yep. Uh, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. I would have duplicated the ones, but anyways. All right, so now what we want to do is get out of dodge. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is looking good. So, what I want to know is, why do we send $80 billion? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave him vulnerable. To a seven shot, but it's not direct, it's indirect. An indirect shot, he misses. Uh, why do we send $80 billion to Ukraine to defend their borders, but we can't defend ours? I'm just wondering. As, as everybody knows, Title 42 is lift, lifted. Now we got 10,000 illegals a day crossing the border. That was a terrible roll, 6 3. We just got to hope he doesn't roll a 3. And he rolls a three. Of course he rolls a three. Well, welcome to the cruelest game, as they say, backgammon. We had him on the ropes, and I rolled a three. Anyways, I'm just wondering. Is it for votes? Is it for cheap labor? I don't know, but it's nothing good, that's for sure. What a mess. All right. Back to backgammon. Um, I don't think this is gammonish. He should probably just double and take the and take the two points. That's that that'd be my take on it. I don't know why he's playing off for gammon. Bad things can happen. He can leave a shot and then he's, you know, he's in my my situation. So, I don't know. I mean, the percentages is not great for him to get a gammon, so I don't understand the play on. But anyways, all right, so he squeaked that one by. He cheated me, so now we're at 3-1. He didn't cheat me, but you saw, you saw what happened. You saw what happened. All right, so he's up 3-1 in a five-point match. This is our first round. We're going to hit. We're going to try the early double again. This time, maybe it'll work. It's looking beautiful so far. It's looking beautiful so far. I 
I like it. I like it. He's in a lot of trouble. I'm just going to be honest with you. He's in a lot of trouble. He's got these guys back. There's a four, almost to be a five prime. Hit. Nope. We're going to make a five prime. There we go. Of course, he gets the double sixes. Lucky. Luck box. That's what you call a luck box in backgammon. But it doesn't, it still doesn't steer him out of trouble. See, that's the power of a five point prime. Now it's a six point prime. Now he's in real trouble because it's very difficult to jump over a six point prime. do that. I know what he's trying to do. And it's the correct play. He's trying to get me to break by trying to keep the integrity of his prime as long as possible, but he just doesn't have the timing. It could be a she too, but I'm just going to say he. He just doesn't have the timing, but look at that. Look at that. Now we break. And he rolls double fives. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding. Wow, he gets away with a with a bad play. He should have just hit me and covered the the point in his board. What is he thinking? But I mean, when you're rolling like God, it doesn't matter because now he just rolled double threes, which is lucky as all heck. Oh, I can't wait to see his luck rating. Cannot wait to see his luck rating. We're still not out of it, even though we're not rolling well at all. Now we're kind of out of it. I really need some luck here. And all the luck is going, look a juke's way. Loki juke. Wow. Looks like we got another week of a one round. Uh, one round match. And it shouldn't have been this way. Super Dance should have been going on. But as you notice, there's luck in backgammon. And a wise man once said, I'd rather be lucky than be good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Well, we gave it an effort. Looky Juke wins. Uh... I'm really surprised at that at the at the 12. I thought I played better than that. But look at his luck rating, plus four. Super Dance plus one, but plus four is pretty high. All right, well, I guess that's it. Nice, short, and sweet, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I will see you next week for another exciting pre-recorded show of Super Dan does backgammon. Thanks for watching. Salute.